After extensive searching, individuals assert that the biblical Noah's Ark has been discovered in Turkey. For years, archaeologists and scholars have sought the remnants of this remarkable wooden vessel. The recent unearthing of the Ark is being celebrated by Christians due to its profound significance in both biblical and historical contexts. However, beyond the widespread excitement surrounding this discovery, an even more astonishing revelation has emerged from within the Ark, leaving religious communities stunned. The full magnitude of this discovery will only be comprehended once the following details are revealed. Chapter 1 Discovery of the Lost Ark Near the Border Shared by Iran and Turkey, an archaeological breakthrough has sparked global curiosity and speculation. The Mount Ararat and Noah's Ark research team, comprising scholars from Turkish and American institutions, has meticulously excavated the Durupaner Formation. This geological formation, primarily composed of limonite rock, has long been rumored to be the remnants of Noah's Ark, an iconic tale in Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. The Durupaner sites both like shape and approximate dimensions matching those of Noah's Ark, as described in the Bible, have captivated interest. By U.S. measurements, it spans approximately 515 feet in length, 85 feet in width, and 49 feet in height. Artifacts discovered at the site date back to 5500 to 3000 BC. For centuries, the search for Noah's Ark has fueled various narratives and claimed discoveries. Mount Ararat, mentioned in the Bible as the Ark's resting place, has drawn numerous expeditions. While explorers have reported finding wooden fragments and structures resembling a boat, skepticism persists among scientific circles. The lack of conclusive evidence challenges assertions of the Ark's presence on Ararat. In the 19th and 20th centuries, figures like James Bryce contributed to the lore, citing discoveries of wood atop Mount Ararat. Yet, doubts linger regarding the authenticity of these findings. The recent findings at the Durupaner site add intrigue to the quest for Noah's Arkansas collaborative efforts and advancements in technology have unearthed potential artifacts from the Biblical Flood era. However, caution prevails among researchers, emphasizing the need for thorough examination before linking the site definitively to the legendary Ark. As night descends, the enigmatic Ark whispers its secrets to those who dare to listen. Chapter 2, The Guardian of Enigmas in a distinct region of Kentucky, a monumental and unconventional undertaking unfolds. Spearheading this venture is Ken Ham, founder of Answers in Genesis, who oversees the creation of a distinctive theme park. This park, known as the Ark Encounter, revolves around a colossal replica of Noah's Ark. Covering an expansive 800 acres, larger than even Disneyland, the park draws around 1.5 million visitors annually to northern Kentucky. The Ark itself stands as a marvel of contemporary construction, meticulously crafted to mirror the biblical dimensions of Noah's Ark, 510 feet in length, 85 feet in width, and 51 feet in height. Beyond the Ark's imposing facade lies an immersive experience spanning three levels. Intricately detailed displays transport visitors back in time, depicting pre-flood landscapes, life within the Ark, and post-deluge scenarios. The aim is to transform the narrative of Noah's Ark from mere words on a page to a tangible, sensory-rich encounter. Ken Ham's vision for the Ark encounter extends far beyond its current scope. Ambitious plans include the construction of a replica Tower of Babel and a portrayal of ancient Jerusalem during Jesus' time. Notably, the Tower of Babel segment promises a thrilling ride akin to Disney's Haunted Mansion, guiding visitors through captivating scenes. The Ark encounter remains a dynamic destination, continuously evolving with new attractions and activities. From indoor animal encounters to festive holiday light displays and aviaries where visitors can stroll among soaring birds, there's always something fresh to explore. Behind the scenes, the park operates innovative projects such as hydroponic plant cultivation and accommodations for seasonal staff. However, bringing the Ark encounter to fruition hasn't been without challenges. Financial obstacles, navigating diverse perspectives, and meticulous planning have marked its journey. Realizing this grand vision required substantial investment, including the issuance of special bonds and support from local authorities through tax incentives and infrastructure improvements. Meanwhile, amidst these developments, a groundbreaking discovery near Mount Ararat looms on the horizon, poised to challenge age-old beliefs. Chapter 3, The Enigma of Misha Mountain David Allen Deal's hypothesis diverges from the conventional belief that Noah's Ark came to rest on Mount Ararat. He posits that the Ark landed on a mountain called Mashu or Misha Mountain, situated 17 miles south of Mount Ararat. Drawing insights from linguistic analysis and ancient texts like the Epic of Gilgamesh, Deal proposes that the Ark initially settled atop this mountain's peak, 
7,400 feet above sea level. According to Deal, Noah and his kin established the first post-flood settlement, Mishanashwan, utilizing remnants of the Ark. However, geological phenomena such as earthquakes and rainfall purportedly caused the Ark to descend the mountain, leaving discernible marks along its path. Deal's theory is intricately detailed, suggesting that survivors repurposed Ark materials to construct their dwellings, utilizing wood for houses and tar to seal roofs. The toponyms in the vicinity, such as Misha, meaning, pulled out of water, and Naqshien, interpreted as, Noah's Zion, seem to echo elements of the Ark Saga. Additionally, the mountain's distinctive feature, dual peaks resembling a wall, referred to as the, Wall of Heaven, as recounted in the Epic of Gilgamesh, aligns with the purported landing site of Noah's Ark. In 1996 and 1997, Deal's explorations yielded evidence supporting his hypothesis. He identified ancient habitation sites and observed the, Wall of Heaven, at the alleged landing site. The cohesive alignment of place names around Masher Dag Mountain bolsters the plausibility of Deal's narrative. Furthermore, Deal scrutinized ancient artworks depicting characters from Genesis, particularly focusing on Naima, associated with the Ark's landing site, positing a connection between these artifacts and the biblical Ark account. Although Deal's proposition is compelling and supported by detailed evidence, it remains just one of many conjectures regarding Noah's Ark's final resting place. Scientists emphasize the need for comprehensive study and scrutiny before endorsing any theory conclusively. When delving into antiquity, particularly narratives intertwined with belief systems, meticulous examination is paramount. Whispers from Misha Mountain hold the promise of unveiling a tale obscured by the sands of time. Chapter 4, A Perpetual Debate. The narrative of Noah's Ark serves as a shared story between Jewish and Christian traditions, yet interpretations of its historical and religious significance have often diverged, sparking numerous debates and occasional conflicts between these faiths. Early Jewish and Christian writers, like Flavius Josephus, accepted the Ark's authenticity, viewing it as a tangible reality. However, contemporary scientific consensus largely rejects the notion of a global flood or the Ark as a factual occurrence. Some historians speculate that ancient floods in the Middle East, such as those in the Persian Gulf or the Black Sea, might have inspired these ancient tales. The discourse surrounding Noah's Ark is but a fragment of the broader dialogue concerning the intricate relationship between Judaism and Christianity. Throughout history, this relationship has been scrutinized, particularly in the aftermath of significant events like the Holocaust. Scholars engage in intense debates over the portrayal of Judaism in the New Testament, particularly in the writings of Luke, seeking to discern whether apparent criticisms are inherent to the texts or arise from misinterpretations over time. Interpretations of religious texts are multifaceted, shaped by personal beliefs, cultural backgrounds, and contemporary contexts, leading to a diverse array of understandings within and across Jewish and Christian communities. Researchers and historians tirelessly explore the past, either corroborating or challenging traditional interpretations, thereby driving the evolution of dialogue between these faiths. Moreover, discussions extend to the concept of covenants within sacred texts, which are interpreted differently in the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament, reflecting the evolving relationship between Judaism and Christianity over time. These debates delve into fundamental questions about the permanence and inclusivity of divine agreements, probing whether they transcend specific groups or time periods. The intricacies of covenant theology underscore the nuanced nature of religious texts and the diverse interpretations they elicit. These discussions necessitate a deep understanding of religious teachings, an awareness of historical contexts, and a willingness to entertain differing viewpoints. Religious leaders, scholars, and adherents invest considerable effort in studying, debating, and analyzing these themes, immersing themselves in ancient texts and scrutinizing various translations to grasp the intentions and circumstances of their authors. In the midst of this clash of faiths, an unexpected revelation emerges, poised to challenge existing paradigms. Chapter 5, Revelations of Humanity's Enduring Search While Noah's Ark remains a globally renowned narrative, it's just one of many flood stories that span diverse cultures worldwide. Each tale possesses unique nuances, yet collectively they share common themes. The Eridu Genesis, originating from Mesopotamia, stands as one of the oldest flood narratives, believed to have influenced subsequent tales like the Gilgamesh flood epic and the Genesis flood account. Across these narratives, themes of gratitude, remembrance of origins, and reverence toward divine forces are recurrent. In Chinese and Egyptian flood narratives, figures like Nu Wa and the Sun God Ra feature prominently, either causing or surviving catastrophic floods. 
survivors often bear divine mandates or receive assistance from gods to repopulate the earth. Similar motifs emerge in ancient Greek and Hawaiian myths, where characters like Duke Alien, Pira, and New Yu navigate floods with divine intervention, finding refuge on elevated terrain. The Epic of Gilgamesh, among the oldest recorded stories, parallels Noah's narrative, depicting divine decision-making, the selection of a righteous family, and the construction of a monumental vessel. However, cultural nuances are evident, such as differing criteria for survival, Noah's righteousness versus Utanapishtim's wisdom. The Atrahasis epic, predating Gilgamesh, shares thematic elements with both Gilgamesh and Noah's stories, including divine anger, human survival, and post-flood renewal. Common elements such as pre-flood warnings, boat construction, and the release of birds resonate across these narratives. Despite their cultural diversity and distinct details, these flood narratives collectively underscore themes of divine power, human survival, and rebirth after catastrophe. They reflect humanity's enduring contemplation of catastrophic floods as agents of renewal and rebirth. The collective pursuit of understanding beneath the celestial canopy hints at the unraveling of humanity's deepest origins. Chapter 6, The Quest for Truth For countless years, the tale of Noah's Ark has captivated hearts and minds globally, blending elements of legend, faith, and historical narrative. While the biblical account stands as the most renowned, ancient civilizations such as those in Mesopotamia, China, Egypt, and Greece also recount their own flood stories. These narratives may signify a shared memory of ancient cataclysms or humanity's innate tendency to interpret major disasters through storytelling. In Mesopotamia, texts like the Eridu Genesis and the Epic of Gilgamesh closely mirror the biblical flood narrative, detailing a cataclysmic deluge, the survival of a chosen individual or family, and the construction of a vessel to rescue humans and animals. Central themes include divine judgment, moral conduct, and the renewal of life. The Atrahasis epic further enriches the flood narrative, providing insights into the reasons behind the catastrophe in divine perspectives on humanity. Despite the shared elements among these ancient flood stories, interpretations vary across cultures, reflecting the diverse ways societies comprehend nature and divine will. Notably, geological evidence supports the occurrence of significant floods in history. Events such as the Black Sea flood approximately 7,500 years ago, alongside the flooding of the Mediterranean Sea and alterations in river valleys in ancient Mesopotamia, could potentially underpin the genesis of these flood myths across different cultures. While definitive evidence of a global flood akin to Noah's Ark remains elusive, it's plausible that localized catastrophic floods inspired enduring tales. Regardless of their factual basis, these stories endure as integral components of human culture, serving as attempts by our ancestors to grasp the mysteries of their world and infuse it with meaning. The narrative of Noah's Ark holds a sacred position within religious scriptures and ancient lore, symbolizing rebirth and divine providence. In the Bible, Noah emerges as a paragon of faith, chosen by God to construct an ark that preserves life amidst a cleansing flood, signaling a fresh beginning for humanity. With each new discovery, the boundary between myth and reality blurs, drawing us closer to unraveling the truth. Chapter 7, A Legacy of Faith The narrative of Noah and his ark holds a significant place within religious discourse, offering profound insights into faith, obedience, and humanity's relationship with the divine. Passed down through generations, it remains a cornerstone of moral teachings and spiritual enlightenment, inspiring reverence and contemplation across diverse cultures and epochs. Its enduring presence in art, literature, and cultural expressions underscores its timeless relevance and profound impact on human consciousness. Furthermore, the tale of Noah's Ark serves as a conduit between past and present, fostering a connection between contemporary individuals and their ancestral roots. It serves as a portal to the ancient world, enabling exploration of ancestral beliefs, values, and struggles, while facilitating reflection on enduring themes of survival, redemption, and human resilience. Often depicted as a colossal vessel constructed with divine guidance, the Ark symbolizes hope and illumination amidst the darkness of the flood. Its meticulous construction, material composition, and interior layout serve as metaphors for divine providence and human perseverance. Remarkably, Parallels between Noah's Ark and flood narratives from Mesopotamia, Greece, and Egypt suggest a shared cultural memory or collective understanding of ancient cataclysms. These stories, rooted in real geological events like the Black Sea Flood, offer insights into humanity's shared experiences and collective imagination. 
Moreover, recent archaeological endeavors, such as the Noah's Ark scan project and discoveries in Turkey and Armenia, have reignited scholarly curiosity in theological contemplation, potentially bridging the gap between faith, history, and science. These findings may shed light on the historicity of the biblical narrative while deepening our understanding of ancient civilizations and natural phenomena. Yet, the unveiling of a 4,000-year-old Assyrian tablet depicting a round arc challenges conventional interpretations, prompting re-evaluation of the arc's shape and historical origins. This discovery underscores the fluidity of storytelling across cultures and epochs, highlighting the enduring legacy of ancient wisdom and the transmission of knowledge through oral and written traditions. In essence, the tale of Noah's Ark transcends mere historical documentation, it embodies timeless truths about salvation, divine intervention, and the covenant between humanity and the divine. It serves as a beacon of hope, reminding individuals of God's benevolence and the promise of renewal amidst adversity. Regardless of religious affiliation, this narrative resonates with universal themes of redemption and the enduring love of the Creator, offering solace and guidance to people of diverse backgrounds and beliefs. The convergence of modern research and ancient wisdom invites contemplation on the intersection of history, faith, and human experience. As we delve deeper into this age-old tale, we are poised to uncover new dimensions of understanding and enlightenment.